Hello and welcome to this little video on using the Godot engine, or more specifically using the little debugging um, capabilities of it. This is showing you one little tip on uh, ways of looking at your program, looking at your you know game and such as it's running. So here I have a little uh, demo, a project, whatever, set up. Uh, what's supposed to happen is this guy right here, he's supposed to move around, and as he gets closer to the chicken, it's supposed to follow him. But that's not all what it seems. So let's go over to here, we have this loaded up, try and move my guy around, and yet the chicken is not following. Now why could that be? Well, to really debug this, one of the things you may have to do is that you would have to say put in print statements or show the state of certain variables and sometimes that's just a raw pain in the butt but that it, it doesn't always have to be that way here let me show you a little something about the debugger now some of you may or may not know this here give me a second some of you may not know this but these tools right here these little bo uh, buttons uh, they can really help you with debugging your program here let me show you what I mean let me first yeah, do that. So here we'll go into the sources. And so, you know, we have some of this code right here. So, for instance, um, the chicken is supposed to pursue the player if this is... Let's go into here. The chicken is supposed to pursue the player if pursue player is true. This happens when the, when the player walks into the chicken's... Go over here. Walks into the chicken's... Area 2D. Something is supposed to fire off in the sources. Something is supposed to fire off down here, but that's not happening. So here, let's take a look at the state. Yeah, so when the user or when the player, you know, goes into... Give me a second. Yeah, so when the player goes into the Area 2D, it's supposed to make... It's supposed to make pursue player true. But here, let's let's run the demo again. So here, let's go to this. And now, let's use our debugging program. Let's use our debugging on the program. So stop it right there. Now, what I've done, if you don't know, is I've made a breakpoint. And now what I can do is I can go into where it is. So, for instance, it's at number 66 right here, and my character is right here. Now, currently, I've stopped the program, and I have moved into the function right... Let's see here. Yeah, it should be right about here. And you see, what I've done is that I've gone to this button right here, which allows you to, well, okay, as it says, step into the, move that, step into the function right here. And now I can see all of the states. Let's do this again. I can now see all of the states of these variables, which is a nice little thing to have. And as we can see right here, the pursue player variable is not firing off. And that's, that, that, it's supposed to fire off here. So let's continue this. Let's see here. So here, let's continue this. So let's move the guy over here and let's stop it again. And once more, we'll go back into the function. And yet, once again, it's still not firing off. Now, why is this? Well, here, this helps a little bit more with debugging. So here, we'll just Stop that right there. Then we'll come down to here. Let's go down into the code right here. As you can see right here, I fudged it. I messed it up. You see, it has to detect, yeah, when the, um, when the Area 2D fires off, then it's supposed to detect the whether it's the player. Now, if it is the player, you know, it pursues the player, and finally, it assigns true to pursue player. So let's just get this out of the way. Yeah, you see, instead of pursuing the player, it would pursue, well, my top node right over here. So let's get these out of the way. Also, let's get that out of the way. There we go. We got those out of the way. 
And now let's run the demo again. See what happens. And now it is pursuing the player. Or at least it's flying around and doing... Well, okay, okay, okay. It's, it's per, kind of pursuing him. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway. So, yeah. And as you can see right here, it's now printing out... It's now printing out all that stuff. So here... Yeah, let's move, yeah, let's move that over. So now, it's actually working. And as you can see, the debugging tools, these debugging capabilities right here, these buttons and whatever, seem to really help us. So that's just one of the little tips I wanted to um, to show you, to, you know, share with you, and hope, hope this really helps you. Yeah, I hope this really helps you in making your uh, programs, making your applications, making your games. And I hope this, um, I hope this video really helped. So, um, see you later.